Hard disk drive. We all have seen it. We all have used it. But, have you ever wondered how do they actually work? Well, in today's episode, we will find that out. Before actually jumping into how hard disk works, let us know what exactly hard disk is. Hard disk drive HDD in short, also known as hard drive is an electromechanical magnetic data storage device primarily used in desktop and laptop computers. It is a non-volatile storage device as it does not lose its contents even after power supply is cut to it. Hard disk stores data by magnetizing tiny bits of the platter. IBM introduced hard disk first in the year 1956 AD. Generally, hard disk of 3.5 inches used for desktop computers and hard disk of 2.5 inches used for laptop computers. Now, it is the time to look at the components of hard disk drives, as it will ease us to understand on its working mechanism. Number 1. Platter. Platter is the circular disk of the hard disk drive. It is made up of magnetic material, which is divided into small area called bits. Platter moves at thousands of RPM when data is being written or read. Number 2. Disk Read Write Head Disk Read Write Head is the triangle-like stuff of the hard disk drive placed above the platter. It contains the mechanism needed to magnetize or demagnetize the bits and to read the data of the platter. This disk read write head is present about 3 nanometers above the platter. Now, we will jump into our actual topic of how hard disk works. Firstly, let's discuss how data gets stored in the hard disk. As mentioned previously, a hard disk drive contains a platter and a disk read write head. When new data is to be fed to the hard drive, the motherboard sends special electrical signals to the disk read write head. The disk read write head then converts electrical signal to magnetic field powerful enough capable to change the direction of the magnetic material of the tiny bits. The direction of the magnetized material determines whether the character is zero or one. Thousands of such zeros and ones makes the data sensible. As an example, let's take a photo. A standard photo is thousands of megabytes. So, to actually store that photo, millions of bits has to be magnetized. In this way, thousands of such zeros and ones makes the data stored in the hard disk sensible and meaningful. These magnetized bits do not lose their magnetization even though power is not supplied to the hard disk drive, thus allowing hard disk drive to store data for a long period of time, making it a non-volatile storage device. Now, time to shed some light on how data stored in hard disk is read. When the data written in the hard drive is to be read, the disk read write head converts the magnetic field of the small bits to electrical current and sends it to the motherboard, which is processed by the computer to produce sensible information. To actually produce meaningful information, thousands of bits has to be read. In this way, the data stored in the hard disk drive is read. Now, I am feeling as if you want to know how storage capacity of a hard disk is determined. Don't worry, I will help you. The amount of data stored in a hard disk drive is determined by the term aerial density. It just means how many zeros and ones can be fitted into one square inch of the hard drive. The more the aerial density, the more is the storage capacity of the hard drive. This is why, scientists and engineers are looking into how to squeeze more bits into the hard disk. Squeezing a lot of bits into the hard disk drive can cause data crowding which will throw off the magnetic field of the bits making the data unreadable. To solve this problem, scientists came up with the idea to magnetize the data perpendicularly rather than horizontally, thus solving the problem of data crowding. A hard disk should be handled carefully. It is so because the hard disk contains a lot of moving parts which can get damaged pretty easily, thus permanently destroying the hard disk. I hope this video was able to give you some basics on how hard disk works. I really want to thank you for the time you gave to listen my video. Goodbye.